Flash reprogramming is a pretty hot topic nowadays. Sometimes that's the only way you're going to be able to fix a vehicle is by reprogramming the computer. Now each manufacturer is going to approach it in a different way. They each have their own software that they use. But there is a universal interface that you can use between the manufacturer's software and the vehicle. It's called a Pass-Through Pro. We have the Pass-Through Pro 3 behind me here hooked up to this vehicle. Now I'm going to walk you through how to go through the toolbox software that comes with the Pass-Through Pro as well as going through the manufacturer's website and we're actually going to walk through the process of reflashing this Ford behind me. So let's walk through that process right now. Alright, first order of business is we need to open up the J2534 toolbox software that would have installed when you install the Pass-Through Pro. So open that up. It's going to just have a select our device here, so we'll do the Pass-Through Pro 3. And it's going to load up to a, a general page. It's going to give you a bunch of different news topics uh, in the reflashing world, I guess you could say. Uh, next we have sales, if you needed to access anything about the Pass-Through Pro. It gives, gives you the website there. Alright, so Diagnostics tab, that's going to allow you to do some generic diagnostics with the Pass-Through Pro, uh, just hooked up to the vehicle itself. Uh, over here we have support, it's going to give you a couple different uh, install options, debugging, that sort of thing. And then training is also going to give you some training videos on the tool. But if we go over to flashing, it's going to give you all sorts of different information depending on your manufacturer. We're hooked up to a Ford, so let's go to Ford. And it's going to give us links to the website. Ford information is going to tell us what the current version is, any current issues we might find. Uh, different conflicts that you might find with the OEM software because like I said you do have to download that software directly from the manufacturer so if there's any issues with the manufacturer is going to let you know here frequently asked questions uh, there's also a walkthrough guide as well uh, but let's go to the website it's going to link you directly to the Ford website now I'm going to log in and just enter the password there it's going to log you in, it's going to tell you what current subscriptions you have. So if you just set up an account, it's going to say you don't have any subscriptions. Now once again, this is just for the Ford website. All the other manufacturers will have a different process depending on how they have their website set up. But for Ford, I'm going to go up here to where it says reprogramming. And I want to do module reprogramming and initialization, so I'll click on that. It's going to give me my PC requirements, software requirements, that sort of thing. It's going to tell me how everything works, how we hook up. We'll just scroll down to the bottom here and I want to purchase this, so we'll click purchase. You can do different uh, lengths of subscriptions. Most manufacturers have got it down to two or three days usually. If you only need to reflash one or two cars, it, it's fairly economical. Looking at $32.95 for a three-day pass from Ford. So I'll just add that to my cart. And then it's just going to tell me what I have here. So we're going to check out. Agree to any terms and conditions that are available. And then it's going to bring me to, this will bring me to a different website to check out. All the payment information has been entered now. So we'll just hit submit. Thank you. Okay. So just click on our little module. And we should be able to just download it down here. Download Ford module programming right there. All right, the download is all finished. So now we'll just run this program to install it. I'm going to close Internet Explorer because it wants me to do that. Accept the terms. User ID. Yep. Now it's just going through the installation process here. It looks like the uh, installation is finished and it wants us to restart the computer, so we'll do that now. All right, the computer's all restarted now, so let's just go over to our Ford module programming icon that's installed on our desktop. Okay, it's going to ask me to define what device do I have hooked up to the computer, so we'll click OK. And it's going to be this snap-on here, this Pass-Through Pro 3. Save it. Looks like we're good. Exit. Restart the programming now. 
All right, and it's going to walk us through how to do this. So let's see, select the system page tab at the top of the screen, system utility sub tab, set user information, go through all this different process. So we're going to go to user information, user ID. Okay, that's good. Software is good. Hardware is good. Okay. Okay, and we'll click continue when all that's done. Looks like everything was entered in there properly, so we'll click continue. And it says, warning, we can only use this with Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. So it's a good thing we're hooked up to a Ford here. All right, so we want to do start new session. And then click the check mark down here at the bottom. Okay, internet connection wants to make sure you're uh, hooked up to the internet. That's important. We'll confirm that. All right, so it says we need to make the connections as shown. And I'm going to uh, set the ignition switch to on, apply the parking brake, and neutral or park in the gear position. So I'm going to go turn the ignition on right now, make sure that's all set. Now, also very important when you're reflashing vehicles is you want to make sure there is a steady battery voltage being provided to it and recommend a, a definitely a clean battery voltage. So I have our EEBC 500 plugged in right here and that's going to give it a nice steady 14.2 volts is what it's set up for right now. So you want to make sure you have steady voltage. If you, if you lose battery voltage, all sorts of bad things can happen. So we want to make sure that that is also hooked up. So looks like all my connections are made. So I'll just hit check mark here. It's going to have us select our vehicle. So it's a 2014 model year, I know. Check. Okay, it automatically identified the vehicle, so it's a Transit Connect with an uh, IVCT engine, 2.5 liter, etc. If that's correct, press yes. It's also along the bottom going through and gathering all the information from the vehicle. Now you can put a repair order number in here. This is more for the Ford dealership, but we can do uh, one, two, three, four, five, I suppose. You know, the vehicle information is up on the screen here. Looks like everything's correct. So the next thing we need to do is go up to this toolbox icon up on the top left. Click that and we have a couple different things we can do. We can do module programming, which is where we're going to go. Uh, we have some PATS functions, so you can actually program keys with this. And then a misfire monitor neutral profile correction, which I can also do with a scan tool. I'll go into module programming, like I said. Check mark. So we can do programmable module installation. If I install a fresh module, I'll need to do that. Module reprogramming is going to allow me to update the software on any of the modules. Uh, programmable parameters is going to allow me to change any parameters that will be allowed to be changed on any of the manufacturer's modules. And then as-built information is going to uh, set for an as-built. So we're going to go to module reprogramming. We're going to choose whatever module we want to replace or change the software in. So I'll choose the PCM here, click the check mark, gives me the VIN number, is that correct? Yes. Okay, next thing that comes up is going to be a notice that you're going to need to print and have your customer read and sign before you proceed with the reprogramming of the vehicle. It's going to check the vehicle's module and see if there are any updates available for it. And now this says a later calibration is available for this PCM. Do you want to program the PCM with this newer calibration? Yes, I do. So I'll click yes going to load the necessary files and double check and make sure everything downloaded OK. OK, want to make sure the vehicle battery is in good condition and all accessories are turned off. I know all the accessories are off. And like I said earlier, you want to make sure you have a constant power source to make sure that that battery doesn't die in the middle of reflashing. So we did that. So we'll click check. It's going to make sure that this is definitely something you want to do. The module you're about to program has multiple internal memory locations. During programming, you'll see multiple bar graphs. This is normal and expected. Please do not disconnect anything and don't turn the key off unless it tells you to. If you turn the key off, you might fail in the middle of reprogramming the computer and you might need to buy a new computer. So you want to make sure that everything's good and you want to read all the, all the directions that are on the screen, follow all the prompts, specifically with what it tells you. So I'm going to click Confirm. It's going to tell me set the ignition switch to off, so we'll start there. Once that's done, we have to confirm. Click check mark. Set the ignition switch to on. Okay, that's all set. Check mark again. Now it's starting to reprogram the module. It's going to give you a little status bar, tell you where it is in the process. 
Okay, looks like the calibration is done. It says it's been loaded and checked, so we've now reflashed this computer. Uh, it says a few uh, network codes may have been set during programming, so you want to make sure you double check everything for DTCs and make sure you fix any relevant ones and retest. And then just go through, and once there's no codes, you're all set to go. Click the check mark again. Uh, it says, if required, obtain a re reprogramming label and complete with the following information. A reprogramming label is not required for vehicle service in North America on this vehicle, so we don't have to worry about that. And then if there is a label, make sure you put it in the right spot. Check off. We've completed the process. Just remember, every manufacturer is going to be a different process. This is how it works for a Ford. Read what's on the screen, follow the instructions, and make sure also that you have a constant battery voltage uh, just so you make sure the battery is not going to die in the middle of the process.